Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very... It's it, it's it's hot here in the UK, but you know, I, I just, I don't really kind of care too much about the heat. Let's just get into the video all about Variant 5. Now for this video, it's going to prep you for different champions, for hashtags, usage, immunities, all the abilities. This will be a special little spreadsheet that's located in my Discord. Links are always for my Discord in the description down below. And the spreadsheet we're going to be referring to is this one here. So I've created this, as I said, it's in the Discord for you to check out. And it is immunities, abilities, and brief notes on the champions that will be used or be able to be used in Variant 5. This is just hopefully prepping you for tomorrow. But let's start off and go in depth on the various different buffs you're going to see in some champions to call out that could be really cool for the interactions. Chapter 1, great power each hit that a Spider-Verse champion avoids from the defender's special attacks with miss, evade or dexterity grants them an indefinite responsibility. In responsibility passive only functions on Spider-Verse Spider -verse hero champions. Great responsibility upon reaching 3 responsibility convert them into a great power buff lasting 10 seconds making their attack ignore armor and resistance and unblockable you cannot gain responsibility while you have great power. If a lot of you are familiar with Stark Spider basically it's like the same type of thing or it's like this times two if you're deciding to use a bit of Stark Spidey and as well all this ability smushed together it's this is going to be one of the best ones to choose now on the screen at the moment you can see the Spider-Verse champions and a few bits of brief abilities immunities and whatnot as I said Stark Spidey seems the best for this especially because it kind of stacks onto whatever ability he has I think with the awakened version being the best option to go for stealth suit spidey does have some viability with pre-fights a great amount of damage through the vulnerability debuff on the enemy if I remember rightly and the slow debuff taking on things like evade and as well unstoppable but classic Spidey can be of value. SP2 is, a, is an alright bit of damage, but not the best. Spider Gwen is one of the best with power and regen control with that paralyzed debuff. Not to mention the fact of high amounts of evades, high rate of damage, and just can be a real freight train. Mars Morales has those evades, those stacks of passives. The same thing with Symbiote Spidey, except Mars Morales does shock damage. So if there's a shock vulnerability or something similar, it can be really of value. Symbiote Spider-Man is a very good value champion for doing Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, especially because he is part Symbiote and part Spider-Verse. Just to confirm that, attributes, you can see hashtag Spider, hashtag Spider-Verse Hero. So yeah, that's good. That is really effective. And as well, having arm break, precision, and as well throwing special attacks does mean he gets evasion, which again can be very helpful, especially for ramping up quickly against that great power, great responsibility type uh, ability that we've seen as the global. Okay, now on to chapter two and the global. I don't know if I read this correctly yesterday, but the fact is if the enemy has a buff, you gain something good, which kind of undermines the premise of a mystic because normally it's about suppressing buff creation with stagger, with, uh, with nullifying. Those kind of things are fundamental to a lot of mystics. So your play style with any great mystic champion has to change. We will go over some top quality mystics to choose as of now, but do be warned you will have to change your play style to not nullify or not stagger if you want to get the good stuff from this. It's kind of a shame because more that I got on screen at the moment that I'm just quickly looking at, I will change the resolution of this the way it looks. But yeah, there's a lot of mystics on the list that will require, or don't, don't require, but the play style normally has, you know, a black widow clairvoyant throwing that buff immunity. You've then got the likes of Doctor Strange nullifying left, right and center. Same thing with uh, Sasquatch, Man Thing, Magic, you know, list goes on of champions that nullify as part of their basic kit or the way that we normally play them. This is when I just want to take a subsection of five champions just to point out there's a slight playing style change that you can do, but at the same time you can have some really effective interaction. So with Morningstar, you can still build those persistent charges. That's absolutely fine. But when it comes to throwing special attacks, as long as you throw an SP1, and here's the great thing about Morningstar, she will replicate a buff that the enemy has. So this would make that this champion would be incredibly effective as an option, providing you don't throw an SP2, she's going to be great. The same thing for Dormammu. If you don't throw an SP1 and just look to spam in SP2s and look towards building those Soul Bonds, Soul Bond detonation off of the heavy attack, you can really spank in a good amount of damage. Might be 
thinking, well, that's curtains for Doctor Doom. Not necessarily. As long as you do not go with throwing a heavy attack when the enemy has got a shock and just go with a rinse and repeat for the SP2, you can avoid going into Aura of Hazareth and spanking a lot of damage. And finally, Mordo. If you play the champion with throwing SP3s each time and stacking on by keeping down into a block with building up fury, you can then throw an SP3, quick power gain, and just rinse and repeat with that method of, of play. Huge amount of buffs, huge amount of damage. Also something that I forgot is Morningstar does bleed, so that really helps out that particular chapter two uh, based boost of bleed damage. Now that doesn't mean to say that it's curtains for lots of the champion interactions, based on what the champions have, that I've just taken a little subsection of champions to choose from. These notes will be available on my Discord, links in the description, or you can pause the screen now to then take some notes yourself. But this is like uh, just a little brief information of different champions, how they can be helpful, you know what I mean. And for this, I could have put in something like a long shot or others for the subsections that I chose of the five champions, but this video would take too long to make. But there are so many examples of as long as you don't play the champion to nullify, you can get all those buffs from the global buff that if the enemy has a buff, you get something good. So it's just to point out that. So the final thing for chapter three is stacking mitosis. Genetic recalibration, hashtag symbiote attackers that dash back and hold block for 1.2 seconds consume all available mitosis buffs into a genetic calibration effect for one second per buff consumed. Genetic calibration reduces defender ability actually by 1000% and increases attacker's buff duration by 100% and heavy attack damage by 500%. This is the buff I think I'm looking more forward to, that chapter 3, with certain champions like Venom the Duck, Carnage being complete powerhouses, not to forget the likes of Venom. Yeah, there's some decent champions on offer here. This is where champions or symbiote champions that have attacker buffs and the duration increasing and as well the heavy attack really fundamentally work with some specific ones. We already know how the likes of Venom the Duck will probably play out, play out as being one of the best champions to go against this. This is where I think Carnage is going to be super effective for that. His heavy attacks will do bleed damage. If the enemy is bleeding as per the Ravager passive ability he's able to throw unblockable specials. So that's great as well. And as well as armor break. So it's the defense ability accuracy, which I assume would be uh, down or kind of restricting stuff like armor being built, could mean that these quite an effective fighting force. That's a lot of Fs, but no F for this champion. Carnage could be a really good one. Yeah, I'm not going to write off Venom. Venom would probably be a really cool champion that I would look forward to get. Shame I don't have him at five star, but yeah, if four stars work, they work. It is certainly going to be fun to see the extent of interaction with these champions and especially with that chapter 3. Unfortunately there's not a huge spectrum of champions to choose from which I don't know if there will be any kind of starage restrictions for this which would be good in some ways because we have to then say that does everybody have the champions to go against. But it looks like the difficulty is going to be ramped up. There are various other symbiote champions that you can choose from. Symbiote Supreme could be a very, very good option. Now it's up to you how you take the Chapter 2 Mystic Suppression by nullification. So don't do nullifying and uh, you get loads of buffs. But look, you can, you can nullify. It's not to say you can't. It's just a case if you want the buffs from the global, then you've got to take the sacrifice. But that's when Symbiote Supreme has great worth. As a lot of you know, he is like Symbiote Spider-Man got in that double hashtag. So he's Symbiote, but also he is a Mystic as well. This is where he'll come into his worth, throwing things like bleed attacks and as well the way that he would ramp up very early on would be a great option, especially if you need to nullify, in this case, any enemies you go up against. So it's going to be great to have this uh, this champion for usage. Power draining, power gaining, you know that, know it, he's got it. So there's, uh, there's this champion as an option for the last chapter. And yes, there are a few other options available, as you can see on screen at the moment. And you could even say, like, Agent Venom. Could he be quite fun, especially ramping up damage the way he does? Possibly. But I think that this is this particular mode is going to be all about Venom the Duck, Carnage, Venom, Symbiote Spider-Man to a degree, and definitely, definitely Symbiote Supreme. And there we go. That's been a little interaction, abilities, immunities, and other helpful information associated with what to prepare for tomorrow. Hopefully it does help you out and... Uh, 
hopefully good luck tomorrow. I'll be looking to do like full guides for this in the coming few days, as well as some key champions that look to take on the content and just be very much like the gods of Variant 5. There's still some things to find out whether or not there's storage restrictions or storage availability, the kind of champions you go up against and other stuff like that. So if I find out the info, I'll put it in Marvel Contest of Champions news tomorrow. But yeah, hopefully this helped out. Thanks very much for watching. Check out some new content up there. Check out some other stuff down there. Rich's Realm down there, the second channel where we'll be focusing on Marvel Realm of Champions, uh, unless the game doesn't work out. And then we'll be doing Marvel Future Revolution. So over on that channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.